Serve great food is to create memories for your customers. But it takes more than luck. It takes consistency, creativity, and the drive to see things through. And every day, the stakes are high, which means it's time to stand up from your computer and start getting real. To own your kitchen is to own your bottom line. This is the real world. And now... This is the real world. And now... This is the real world. And now is the time to foodify your business. Welcome to the Foodify by the Largo Group Podcast. Scott, it's going to be a big day. Yeah, we got some great stuff cooking today. I think you're going to enjoy, uh, you know, our, our chef over here making it happen. So, Chris, what are we cooking? Today we're going to cook. All right, here we are. Yeah, welcome back to Foodify Your Business uh, by the Largo Group Podcast. We're excited to be in the kitchen and Chef Chris already mise and plaza everything for us oh well, we're getting started you know we got the short ribs we got all our ingredients we got our potatoes carrots onions celery we got a flour we're going to dredge the short ribs in okay we got bay leaves which are optional but for me they're not i use them all the time anytime making any kind of braising something we got we got our smashed garlic salt pepper a little granulated garlic and we got our seasoning salt uh, whiskers, whiskers, she should do. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. We heard you know it. what it's called. Which shy or something right, like that. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. That. I've uh, got a red wine. We, we got a can of tomatoes, and in here we have beef and chicken stock. Okay. Okay. And this is this simple. I'm going to chop up our vegetables, and then we're going to dredge, and we're going to brown these off. Going to sear them off to lock in the flavor. Yeah. Then after we do that, everything goes in the pool. When you were setting all up, I was actually shocked how simple, you know, when you say short, you know, told us we were cooking today, and you're like, damn it, you know, wow, it seems like a lot of things were in there, super complicated, and then it seems like, you know, a lot of things that you create and do, it just shows how simple and things that the restaurant has, not that many, in the grand scheme, not that many ingredients compared to what the dish so is going to be. The only thing you have to go out and get if you own a restaurant right. is probably order a short rib. Right. You don't have everything else. Yeah. You should have everything else. Order a short rib. You know, get to know your local butcher. I say it all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Because your local butcher's going to give you great deals. And he's going to let you know when he came across something that was really an outstanding yeah. deal for him, that now he can pass that on to you and you put it on your weekly special. Right. And so that's why it's so important. And I know we need these bigger companies, right? Sure. Everybody likes to use them. Right. I'm more for when it comes to meats and fishes, let's use our local people. Yeah. Produce. Right. right. Absolutely. Your canned goods, your packages probably come from the bigger warehouses. Right. Like it's delivered all. It's probably right. easy, depending on how you get it. Well, when produce, uh, fish, or any, any kind of uh, protein, protein yeah. Yeah, I definitely like to use our local guys. Yeah. I always say that. You know, support local businesses. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm super excited. Then. I'm a big fan right. of short ribs, so I'm excited to see your version. Of well, it. here we go. We're going to chop this up, and then we'll dredge. But we got to chop first. All right, so our dredging station is here. We have all our seasonings. We have our short rib, we have our flour. Very simple. Just want to season everything. Scott, what are we going to do here, Scott? You, I know Make sure every side, right? All sides are seasoned. Why is that, Scott? Well, as you always say, we're going to eat every side. You gotta eat all sides. Not <laughs> just eat one side, all right? No way, I'm not leaving anything here. All right, and, and another secret is always from it's a pie, high. right? So it covers a lot of ground. So, you know, there's salt, pepper, a little granulated garlic here. All right. Never go wrong with a little garlic in anything. Seasoned salt. Okay. Don't be shy with it. Get it on there. You, you can do this to the point where you're like, man, I might over season that. Trust me, you didn't. <laughs> I'm no way to over season it. No way. But like, now, like pasta water? <laughs> like pasta water. Now you want to pack, you want to get it on there. No. Okay. Make sure it sticks. That, that, then we're going to give it a flip. So we want to do all sides, right? Yeah, absolutely. Alright, we're going to do all sides, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's hard, huh, Scott? They can't do this in a restaurant. I, I can see that being very difficult right. for uh, Chris makes it look easy, but I, I think there's something you could add. Uh, Teach, train, develop, pretty simple. 
I think if, if you're not doing it, you should be. And this brazen that we're doing uh, and all this different stuff we're adding to it, you can braise it, you know, anything. It doesn't have to be a short rib. Right. You know. Well, the nice part of this we talk a lot about, it can be used for multi items, right? right? You can have a lunch version, a dinner version, it can be on a sandwich, it can be a on taco, a taco. A taco, right. Anything. All right, now we want to get them in here. It's, it's, it's all down, right? Dredge it. Again, all sides. Right, okay. Because we want to sear all sides. Right. So there you go, that's it. So now what we do with this, take it over here, a little oil, and we're going to sear them off. Once we sear it off, it's really easy. Everything in the pool. I like easy. That's it. Bring you know it to that. a pool, you know like put it in the oven. All right, Scott, so we get the pan hot. A little oil in there. All right. A little bit. Take our short ribs. What we want to do, we want to, don't want to put excess flour in there. Okay. Okay. So give us like a second to get it up to where we want. I can see the oil starting to separate. So we're just about there. We're going to shake it off. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Got the sizzle. There. Try to get the oil around. Like again, another crisp technique right there, right? And the oil will slide. And this flour is also going to help thicken the sauce. Okay. That's going to be in there. We'll let it sear on each side. A couple minutes. Go ahead, give me a story. Look at that. Smelling delicious. Touch it on, I want you to get burnt. <laughs> don't worry. I don't know, I ain't gonna worry you about know, that. You know that. You know I wait for you to come back to the heavy method, right? I ain't worried about that. Oh, uh, yeah, it's something nice. Oh, yeah, another, another 30 seconds, 20 seconds, I'm gonna flip them. All right. They're getting there. They, they look really good. Boy, another item that just has been around for, for a very long time as another way to get like a cheaper, you know, thicker meat in, in the cooking process, using all the flavors to make it a really great dish, right? Right. And I think that's, you know, look at that color. Right. This is pretty tender on its own. Okay. But to get it short rib braised tender, right. you got to let it go a few hours. Yeah. Right. I mean, if you were to, to buy it, cook it, 30 minutes, you're gonna eat it. But it's not gonna be the same. Right. It's, it's gonna be a little tough, little chewy. You know, it needs to be braised down. Yeah. That, that's, that's everybody thinks you're gonna get a filet mignon. You don't need a filet mignon. I, I make at home a steak pizza I order. Okay. I get the toughest cut of meat they've got. <laughs> and I and I simmer that in, in, a, in a little gravy I make, a little tomato gravy. Right. I simmer that for a couple hours. It's the best steak you ever eat in your life. Yeah. Right? But, I, I didn't go out and I didn't pay the pound per pound price. Right. That, and I said, I think as restaurants are fighting and battling the food cost side of it, they just need to be more aware of that. That there are other meat steak options for their customers Absolutely. that don't have to be at a 50% food cost price. Because that's what happens, right? You get right. to a point where that filet, that sirloin, that New York strip, that you can only charge so much, right? Yeah. Like eventually the cost is gonna go up, up and up. And we see it on menus that it's a $60 play, a $70 play. Right. Yeah. And in some restaurants, that, that, that's fine. You can get away with that. Yeah, and but there's a lot of restaurants that you can't. can't get away with that. So, you know, I, I, me personally, it's not something I just wanted to bring to my customer. Right. You know, I want my customer to come to my restaurant, have a great dining experience, feel like they got their money's worth. Not feel right. like, wow, man, I just really overpaid for that. Well, I think a lot of people go out to eat too, and they, something that they want to maybe order that they don't normally make at home, right? I can go make a right. flight at home. I can make any right. steak at home. I can make, I can, I can grill it's it up. Right. Where something like this, you're showing how easy you could make it at home, right. but there's still time involved. 
Well, still so, time, there's prep, you're coming home from work, it's not really feasible. Right, right. right. But it's a nice weekend thing, Saturday, thing at home, you definitely have the time. We're, all right, so we're at a good spot. All right, so this is where we start. I, I go with the water first. All right, okay. so a couple cups of water. Go with chicken stock and beef stock. Combine, I, I combine them. All right, it's already in. Combine together. Two cups of red wine. But if you're me, you gotta have more. <laughs> Two cups. Right, you right. didn't save a, a cup for yourself, but all right. And then you're gonna do it. So then. We get the tomatoes in. Now, you, you could put crushed tomatoes, whole tomatoes, whatever you have. It, it's not, you know, it, it's not going to change the profile of the food. All right, uh, I got my bay leaf, I got my garlic. Pop them in. As you put things in, try to spread them out. Uh, got whiskers here. Now all the veggies. All the veggies. Everything in. Right there, we will mix around. Got carrots Make everywhere. Sure it's in the liquid. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Look at that. So now all we want to do is bring this to a boil. Bring this to the boil. We're going to cover it with a nice piece of tin foil. And we're going to put it in the oven. 325 degrees. It's gonna go for at least a couple hours. I like to make this right when I make it. You can do a mashed potato, you can do a sweet mashed potato. My favorite, and I'm, I'm gonna add this recipe with this, so you can do both. A three cheese polenta. Wow. Nice cheesy polenta, put this over top, you spoon the vegetables and, and, and the gravy over it, it's outstanding. That sounds over great. Over the polenta. It sounds outstanding. Yeah, it's going to be. So yeah, but I'm gonna put the polenta recipe up as well. So we're going to let this come to a boil. It's going to take another couple minutes. Once it does, all we're going to do is cover it with tin foil. It goes in the oven for a couple of hours, then dinner. Make it look easy. Somebody's got to. All right, here we go, buddy. Oof. Last time, it's hot over here. Right here. <laughs> it's a real oven. We're really cooking. This is it. All right. Some of the other things I cooked, you couldn't wait. But I'm not even waiting for this because I said, you asked me along all the things I cook, you know, beef stew, brujol, yeah. right, uh, pot roast, anything, beef stew. Yeah. You said to me, what's your favorite? This is we. This is weeks ago, right. as we were creating the next quarter of content. Right, right? right. Of what are we cooking? Right. This was. We've been talking about this specific dish for yes. at for least a month, yeah. probably more, at least a month. Yeah. And I and you were surprised that this was my favorite. I, I was. Yeah. So here you go. So wow. Which again it says door. a lot. That's wow. Well, visually, I I can see why. Aesthetics and the no. smell, I can see why. But yeah. taste is going to do it. Well, it's going. Taste put, is going to put us over the do edge. You remember when we put it in the oven, all the liquid? Yes. Look how that cooked down. It really reduced down. I mean, I can see the look in your face thing. Why are you going to do all that liquid? Yeah, it was. It was I full. Tell. It was up tell. to the, the top. Where's it at now? <laughs> and and, I mean, and look, we're exactly. Well, here we are. All right. Here we all are. Right. All right. So this is how you got to do. Now again. Uh, the cheesy polenta recipe will be on the website with this. Right. All right. Because this has got to go over the plant. Yeah. All right. But again, you want to get a little bit of the vegetables okay. on the bottom. All right. Or over top of it, however, however you, you want to present sure. it. Right. Uh, when, when I have the polenta, I put it on the bottom. I mean, I put the polenta on the bottom. I put the uh, then I put one of these, and then I put the veggies. Okay. I put the short rib on top of the polenta. That's it. Look at this right here. Wow, look like outside yeah, there. Not no knife, nothing. Just nothing. Just using that spoon. It's a thing of beauty. It sure is. It's a thing of beauty. Over this one over here, take a look at that. 
Everybody eats. Remember that guy used to go to Phillies games? Everybody hits? Yep. Everybody eats. Everybody eats. Yeah. Well, I'm a carrot over here. I'm a carrot guy. Yeah, alright, well. Alright. Scott, dig in. Let me know yeah, if I'm ready right or wrong. It's hot. I'll start with the oh, hot carrot. Hot. Mm. Really nice flavor of the carrot. It all cooked down so nice. <laughs> that why it's my favorite. That's why your favorite? Think about bite of that. So that's why. Oh, that's why it's my favorite. You gotta play it to fork, that's why. I know, it's all I got over here. You know what? And a plastic fork, don't cut it up. Remember I said you're going to think you're over seasoning, but you're not? Right. For the right to the perfect level of seasoning. Yeah, I mean, that's really good. It's mm. really tender. Mm. Delicious. Everything together is delicious. Because I feel like sometimes you get it, it can be a little bit fatty, it can be, you know, but this, this isn't. I mean, it falls well, right in. You know. Butcher does a great job for me. Right. Uh, Junk is in, in the terminal. You know, that's where I go to Grand Terminal yep. in Philly. I go to Junk is for, for a lot of my, my meats. Uh, this is one of them. I, you know, I, I come up. I said, I'm gonna come over tomorrow. That's what I need. He had everything ready for me. I'm like, Scott, it's all so good. Was a, again, we're gonna post this on our website, fyourbusinessmovement.com. Feel free to jump on there. There's a lot of different recipes on it. Maybe a show you didn't see. They 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 should be in there too. If not, you you can go around YouTube and grab them. Uh, it, it, it's everything you imagine, and then more. I bet. So it really is. It is. I mean, we've had we've got a lot of shows together. I've eaten a lot of your food. It makes me very lucky guy. But this is definitely one of those top ones. And I think about some of the things that I really enjoyed. This up there. I think any you know, you showed how easy it was to make. Yeah. Yeah, no, great for any restaurant. Um, it, Profitable. It's a 100% home run. Yeah, yeah. it's a tag on there. So. Yeah. Hey, subscribe to our page. Just by anything we do, you'll see. We do we do a lot. It's a lot of reels. We do some funny stuff. We do some serious stuff. Yeah. You know, but it's, it all relates to the restaurant world. Right. Right. So, again, thanks for being part of Foodify by the Largo Group, and we'll see you next time.